Hey there! So this week there's no new releases video because E3 is next week and what that means is that there's no games coming out this week because, you know, they don't want to get swept away in the hype. Um, so instead, I'm going to round up what games are coming to be talked about as well as what I personally believe is going to be announced at the conference with all times and Eastern Standard Time so you guys can watch the live streams yourselves. So here we go. Firstly, at 10pm EST on the 14th of June, Bethesda is giving the first true look at Fallout 4. That probably means gameplay, but there's a whole lot of clarification on the speculation we've been seeing since the trailer released on Friday last week. We're also likely to be seeing something about Doom 4 from the event. Bethesda recently released a short 2-3 two, three, two to three second teaser for the game, and that leads myself and many others to believe we'll be seeing more of that at the conference as well. And then I'm personally hoping for a little bit more of information about Dishonored. Next, on the 15th of June at 12.30pm, is the Microsoft conference, which was originally rumoured that a new Xbox One was going to be unveiled. That proved to not be true, however, as Microsoft actually unveiled their new 1TB Xbox this week instead. Now that doesn't mean Microsoft won't be showing anything. Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, tweeted out in April that they should have a new exclusive IP at E3 and that this is going to be a fun year. Now he thinks it might be our best first party content year ever. That means if we're going to be seeing a new product, one we haven't seen before. On top of that, we know that we're, we'll be seeing a lot of games from them. The ones we know about and that have been officially announced for the, for the show are Halo 5, Forza 6, a new Gears of War title, Rise of the Tomb Raider, actually not a new Gears of War title, we know it's a remaster of Gears of War 1. Rise of the Tomb Raider again, which we'll know will be a timed console exclusive, possibly coming to the PC, but we know that it will be on the Xbox One, and Fable Legends. It's possible they'll talk about Windows 10 and the HoloLens as well, but with the PC conference at the end of the week, it's more likely those will be mentioned there. Next in line on the press conference schedule is EA, with a conference starting at 4pm EST. Not a whole lot of speculation going on with this one, EA have announced what games are going to be at E3 already, and barring a surprise reveal, that means we know what to expect on the 16th. We know that they're going to be showing off a Need for Speed reboot, and that they'll be bringing Mirror's Edge Catalyst, which is also a Mirror's Edge reboot. I'm not going to pass judgement on that yet, but it does make me a little bit sceptical. EA are going to be showing Star Wars Battlefront, yet another reboot as well. I'm excited to see a little bit more gameplay from that personally as I was a big fan of the originals. We've also got Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 coming, which reminds me that I should really give the original a try. Again on the 15th, and starting just two hours after the EA conference, is Ubisoft. Kings of the annual release, it's to be expected they'll be showing an Assassin's Creed game this year and they don't disappoint. They'll be, announced, they'll be showing, not announced, and they've already announced it, they'll be showing Assassin's Creed Syndicate at the event this year, as well as Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege and The Division, that of which I'm really excited for. They've also said there'll be new products announced beyond those, what those might be I couldn't say. Starting at 6pm EST is the Sony conference, and there's some interesting rumours about what to expect there. One from The Guardian says they'll be, they'll be seeing The Last Guardian. From The Guardian, that's a fantastic coincidence. A game that people have been clamouring for since it was first unveiled in 2007 that hasn't been seen by the general public since 2009. We'll probably be seeing some of No Man's Sky, one of the more anticipated PS4 exclusives coming this year, and we'll definitely be seeing Uncharted 4, a thief's end for sure, as well as some talk about Project Morpheus most likely. There's not a whole lot else that's concrete about the Sony conference, but definitely a lot of rumours. be interesting to see which of them are true. At 12pm on the 16th comes Nintendo's conference, which is going to be something different this year. They're bringing back the Nintendo World Championships that haven't been seen since 1990. Nintendo World Championships are a huge competition about Nintendo games, with regional gamers able to play in Best Buyers around the US, able to win their way into a tournament that will be livestreamed from E3, and they'll be competing for the highest score in Ultimate NES Remix for the 3DS. With regards to games, there's not a whole lot of rumour about what we'll be seeing, but we do know that we'll be seeing Star Fox U and Mario Maker, and we will not be seeing Zelda U. Most likely nothing about the NX console either. Square Enix are going to have a showing this year as well on the 16th at 1pm and will be showing a couple of games, including a secret showing of a secret title. They've already revealed that they'll be talking about the new Deus Ex, titled Mankind Divided, and it's highly likely we'll be seeing some discussion of Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15 as well. Lastly, there's the PC Gaming Show, which will be a big roundup of games and hardware discussion. There'll be a huge bunch of developers there, and, uh, sorry, including Focus Home Interactive and Blizzard, amongst many others. AMD are also set to properly debut their new graphics card line Fury at this event, which takes place on the 16th of, of the 16th at 6 p.m. Sorry, I'm stumbling. That's basically it for E3 this week. It starts on Sunday with Bethesda's and it finishes on the Wednesday with some roundup conferences from the Indies, Indie Select team and those kinds of things. 
Thank you for listening. This has been the Doghouse E3 Roundup, and I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you want, if you enjoyed what we were, what we were saying at you, please hit the subscribe button and let us know how you did. I'm Atty Agros on Twitter, and I really appreciate you guys taking the time to listen. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day, and enjoy E3. Catch you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>